Reading a resistor may not seem straightforward at first glance, but it's actually very simple once you know how. Typically, resistors have colored bands on them that represent various values, including resistance value, tolerance, and occasionally the temperature coefficient. It is most common to see resistors with four bands, but there can be anywhere from three to six bands depending on the resistor. The first few bands represent resistance values. Then the farther band will represent a multiplier band, which will determine where the decimal in your final value will land. The furthest bands will generally represent tolerance and the temperature coefficient. Before you begin, make sure that you are reading the resistor correctly. Many resistors will group some of the colors closer together towards one end. In that case, this is the end you should start reading from. If the band is gold or silver on one end, then your resistance is a 5 to 10% tolerance resistor. Always read the resistor from left to right. This chart will show you what the different colors represent, so you can try it yourself at home. In a three or four band resistor, the first two bands represent the first two digits of the resistance value in ohms. With these types of resistors, the third band represents the multiplier, which will shift your final decimal place around to determine your value from mega ohms to milli ohms or anything else in between. If you have a fourth color band, that will represent the resistor's tolerance. If your resistor only has three bands, then by default, the tolerance will be plus or minus 20%. From left to right, we have a blue band and a gray band, which are the resistance value in ohms. The third band is red, which is the multiplier, and the fourth band is gold, which is the tolerance. So looking at our chart, we get a six from the blue band and an eight from the gray band. So our resistance value is 68 ohms. When determining the multiplication factor, you need to take the number of zeros from the value representing your color and add them to the end of your initial resistance value. The red band represents 100 ohms. So we will take the two zeros in the 100 and add that to our 68, bringing it to 6800 ohms which may also commonly be written as 6.8 K ohms. Since our final tolerance band is gold, that means our tolerance is plus or minus 5%. So this brings our final resistor value to 6.8 K ohms, 5%. Let's try another one. This is a four band resistor with brown, black, brown, and gold bands. So our initial value is 10 and our brown multiplier adds one more zero to that value, and our gold tolerance band is once again plus or minus 5%. Our final value for this resistor is 100 ohms, 5%. Be sure to check out Galco.com for our full catalog of resistors and more.